some, I think she's still doing some work, but I guess I'll do this by myself. Drawing us together, drawing us together, drawing us together, drawing us together. Very cheeky start to the day, starting before I'm ready. Okay, my friend, so yesterday, on day nine, we drew out uh, a piece of paper we'd already worked on, didn't we? We'd already yeah. worked on all the times. Can you draw out today's challenge and give it a shade? I wonder how people did with their cartoons yesterday. We had disaster movies that we did. Okay, what's this one? Draw a teacher who made you feel good. Ah, okay, so we, some of us might be missing our teachers, yeah. um, but you've got to draw a teacher who's made you feel good at some time, so it could be, maybe it is your current teacher who makes you feel good, or maybe someone from the past, any ideas, little tea? Or maybe someone that isn't your teacher, but that's in the school. Oh, okay, you think you, you can widen the idea of teachers, someone from the school that's made you feel good. I'll let you have that. It's not strictly speaking the challenge, but I think, I think you're right, because sometimes there could be special people at your school that aren't necessarily the teacher, but you know, they're there who make you feel good, support assistants, lunchtime well, organisers. Their job might be teaching. It might be. Or working. Okay, let's change that then to someone in your school an adult though, not, not a friend, yeah? yeah? An adult in your school who makes you feel good. See you in a bit, bye! So little tea, you're having a hot chocolate break there after mm. exhausting yourself drawing. Can you tell us about your artwork, please? Who is this My teacher master. or special, your masterpiece? Your special adult, away you go. Special adult, so. Is this your teacher, first of all? No, this is special adults. Right, and you, but you do love your Miss Tarrick, don't you? Yes. Yes, you do very much. But this is somebody who's special to you. Why? Because when I go to school in the morning, when I go up to the classroom, the route I take goes through her corridor. So my friend, because I go with my friend, she pops in there. So I pop in as well and just say hello. And she says good morning every morning. And that makes me have a happy start to the day. So she gives you a happy start to the day. Does she say anything else to you? You've grown taller. She says you've grown taller. Well, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Because yeah. you're, you're quite little and you like it that you're growing taller, don't you? And I'm a shrimp. You're not a shrimp, you're, but you're growing taller. Oh, and that's given me a question. What's your question? Would you rather be a krill or a shrimp? <laughs> a krill or a shrimp. I don't think they're that much difference, really. Krills are just much, much tinier shrimps, aren't they? Um, I think I prefer to be a krill because then you would be swallowed by a giant whale and I'd like to help the whales. There you go. What would you like to be, little team? Uh, a krill because you go in huge swarms. Ah, okay. Let's go back to our artwork now. And so, who who is this? You haven't actually said who this is. Miss Saini. Miss Saini. So shout out to Miss Saini. Okay, and she's carrying something here. What's she carrying? Books and she's waving, saying hi. Yeah. <laughs> she's a very very uh, important person who does lots of helping yes. in our school, doesn't she? Okay, do you want to know about my teacher oh, oh. Who, who made me feel good? So okay. this is Mrs. Robinson. And it, it's a very specific drawing. Mrs. Robinson was my teacher in infant school. So I was younger than you. I would have been about oh, six years old when I had Mrs. Robinson, oh. maybe seven. And she was my teacher at Monkwick Junior School in Colchester in Essex, where I come from. And um, it's a very specific drawing of her. She's wearing this very specific skirt tee. You see this yeah. skirt here? I've drawn in this skirt because we had the same skirt. And that was so exciting. We'd obviously been to the same market stall. And I remember we both wore the same skirt on the same day. And it was this pattern. It was like a tweed skirt with a green belt. And I loved that I looked as important as Miss Robinson. Um, she's wearing pink rubber gloves here. Yeah. That's because she's holding something disgusting. She's holding an elephant poo. Oh. 
Oh, I know the story. You know this story. Well, this is the one of the reasons why I picked her as is the teacher who made me feel good. I was a bit of an unusual child and used to do unusual things. And some teachers that would annoy and other teachers would go, do you know what? That's just um that's just who she is. And so on <laughs> one I still do things like that. On one Friday, she looked at our nature table and said, oh, everyone's been so boring with what they brought in at the nature table. It's so boring. I want everyone this weekend to find something interesting for the nature table. And because this was Miss Robinson, who I loved, I'm like, right, I'm definitely doing that. So what I did was I went to my dad's allotments. Granddad Ray used to grow all our vegetables when we were little. Yeah. And what would happen there is the circus, whenever it came to Colchester, they would drop off all their animal poo, all their dung, to the allotments for people to dig into the ground. And there was a huge pile of this poo. And I saw a giant round poo that looked a bit like my rabbit poos, except it was the size of a football. And I was like, whoa, Dad, what's that? And he said, it's an elephant poo. And I said, whoa, Dad, is that an interesting thing to go on the nature table? Now, Grandad Ray, little T, mm -hmm. is a bit naughty, Grandad Ray. He's, <laughs> he's a bit encouraging of naughtiness. Like uh, Grandpa Dan. Grandpa when Dan. he sold the school. Yeah, yeah. One time <laughs> my dad and his dad, uh, when, when my dad was cross with his school, they climbed up on the school roof and they... Uh, put a for sale sign on the school roof. So my dad, it being like that, um, said to me, yeah, yeah, an elephant poo is an amazing thing for a nature table. So I got a stick and a carrier bag and I poked the poo, rolling it, using the stick into the carrier bag and I tied it up and I took it to school on Monday morning. I said, Miss, Miss Robinson, Miss Robinson, I've got something amazing for the nature table. And so I... Got my bag and she held it. She said, oh, it's heavy. Is, is it a nest? Because it was like a round shape. She said, oh, no, it's not a nest, Miss Robinson. And uh, she opened the bag. And, of course, there was a lovely smell came up from the bag. <laughs> because it was poo. <laughs> and so, Miss Robinson could have been one of those teachers that just went, ah, that's disgusting, Emma, get out. But she said, well... I bet that's the most interesting thing someone brings in for the nature table. And instead of just throwing it away, she got my elephant poo and she put it on the nature table and it stayed there all day, stinking out our classroom. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the sort of teacher Miss Robinson was. She was a very encouraging teacher. She encouraged originality and thought. And that is why she is a teacher that made me feel good. So here we are. Our two lovely oh, teachers and teaching staff. So remember, you could draw somebody at your school who's an adult who who's, makes you feel good. I wonder what other people are going to draw. I'd like to know their stories too. Time to roly poly up the art. Okay. Roly poly. And that, my friends, is day 10 finished. Yes. Your clip on. There you go. Doo -doo. End of day 10. I'm going to roll mine up now here, T. Can you hold this? Okay. There we go. Got it. Roll mine up. I don't know if we need to show everybody this uh, each day, but it's part of the process because we're making our toilet roll of art. There we go. Den t day 10. Day 10. <laughs> Complete and done. Yes. Bye. Bye. Ew. Poo wee. Change places today. Okay. Do you want to do an intro? Yes. What day is it? Day 11. No. Or 10. Maybe you could hide and come in this time. Nah. I'm boring. Right. Okay. You ready? Right, you, do, you just do you then. Yes. Hi! Drawing us together. You do that whole thing. It's recording. <laughs>